Mary Ann Bonetti, and I'm in my cutting garden. It's it's a raised beds here made of cement, and it is mid spring, but just just right at the crest of spring. I have the glorious phlox coming up, and my bulbs are finishing up. But right here in this pathway are these native ferns, these little wood ferns coming up, and I love ferns, but I don't want them in the middle of my pathway now. Uh, if you're from the Pacific Northwest, like I am, you'll know that if you try to pull these ferns out, you're going to realize that, yeah, you think you got the root, like this root here, and you think the fern's gone, but it's going to come back. Because you see this little colony of fern here, they're all interconnected, and if I pull one root, uh, it's just going to stimulate some more popping up. So here's the secret of how to get rid of a cluster of ferns when they're growing in a pathway and you don't want them to keep coming back. It's timing. Remember I said that this is the, the height of the spring season and, and the lilies are up and the flocks are up and you can see that the leaves of the ferns are about ready to unfurl. All the energy underground of the root system is getting ready to push a big huge surge of moisture into these leaves to force them open. So this is the perfect time to go down low and simply cut these ferns off close to the ground, leaving that cut end exposed to the sun. And the roots underneath don't realize that cut its head off, and it's going to continue to pump moisture up and dry out all the roots below. So, I've got a few more uh, weeds in here, but these are easy weeds. These are just the forget me nots. Weeds can just pull with my hand. And then the fact that I have a, a wood chip mulch down here is going to keep out most of the weeds for the summer. But it's the ferns, remember, when you see these ferns just start to unfurl, cut them at ground level, and all that energy will dry out and kill the roots and all. This is Mary Ann Benetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.